Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Deck Deck here. Right now we are back with another reaction video we haven't done one in a long time. Apologies for not putting up the green screen in my last video, the breakdown for the Alkali episode 5. <clears throat> I was a bit of Russian. I was working on that video all morning. Yeah. It was a little frustrating. Other than that, you guys ready for this? Alright, let's dive right into it, shall we? Oh, looks like we get, I believe this is Reacher Season 1. I'm not entirely sure when Season 3 is coming out. Uh, hopefully, uh, Amazon Prime doesn't copyright me again. Because <laughs> I tried to do a review video on the boys. And, well, it sure did copyright my ass. Anyways, Elaine Richardson is uh richard and he's gonna be the next batman james guns dcu check that video up i'll probably post it up right after this end of the video <laughs> he's playing a special forces character right now <laughs> <laughs> Apologies for that. <clears throat> if you boys know what's about to happen to you, you leave now. So I'll give you to the count of three. Fighting multiple people takes a toll on you. I'm not j talk about like, just like in the movies. The thing is that fighting one person is tough enough doing a fight choreography scene, but when it's with multiple people, it gets a little more difficult right there when it comes to fact of the matter is. Uh, his training is, I believe it's military mixed with a little bit of Filipino martial arts. If you get hit over and over, well, you the only thing you can rely on is the adrenaline inside your body. Just use it, keep on going, and nonstop, even if you get cut, stab. You gotta fight for your life, especially in this case, in this scenario. Hell yeah, you gotta do that. I mean, they drew first blood, they came after them, so what are you gonna do? You gotta defend yourself. You gotta take them out fast, so. I believe I haven't seen this movie. I only saw clips of it. I think this is Atomic Blonde. You guys let me know if I should check out this movie. I haven't seen it. So I heard that it's actually pretty good. It has a one take in it as well. She went for the face and then go for the head. Always go for the face and always go for the head, even if you have a blunt weapon in your hand. And she also did go for his forearm as well. Use your environment to your advantage. Anything around you, a glass, bottle, a lamp, use it. Especially if he's trying to shoot you with the gun that has the suppressor on it. You get fight <laughs> like crazy. Right now, since you're out of ammo and you don't have any guns and stuff. Do what you can. Dress her, most likely. Yeah, that was prop and it has cushion stuff on it. Um, There's brick bolt pieces on it. 
but sometimes if you get slammed into brick ball pieces especially brick ball glass you can get hurt you can get cut it's possible so doing your own stunts or having your own stuntman basically can be still risky even though like some of it is just props some of it could actually really do hurt you so <laughs> just be mindful and remember the fight we're up. right now i have zeppelin in the throat aka the dragon uh fist <laughs> uh but she's not using her middle finger she's actually using a corkscrew and he's dead <laughs> plays the role as Lee Young in the TV show Warrior. Uh, in Raid Redemption, he plays a role as uh, a member in a SWAT team, basically. Hence the raid, the raiding a uh, drug bus inside an apartment. But it's not any ordinary apartments. It's full of a lot of, I guess you could say, anarchy. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so uh, what's uh, really interesting is that, um, he has no prior experience. Uh, he's a really good jujitsu um, martial artist. That's his forte, jujitsu. And the reason why he knows how to do a lot of fancy kicks and flips is because he does have a small background of wushu. No one actually ever knew that until Scott Atkins was actually interviewing him and talked to him, which was very interesting. So he has a wushu background too. So that actually helped play in his favor inside these movies. And The Raid was his first movie to play in. So he made a huge impression to, I guess you could say, um, the Hong Kong martial arts movies. <laughs> Shot, shot, shot. Woo. All right, we got the Punisher season two. Um, Daredevil Born Again. Um, I did an update video on that. I'll probably put it at the end of this video too if you guys want to check that out as well. Um, yeah, Daredevil Born Again is coming out in 2025. It's going to be a huge banger for Marvel. Uh, they're going to leave uh, the rated R version here, which is good. I'm glad the Punisher TV show is going to be still rated R. They need to leave it alone and stuff. I was a little worried, though, especially for um, Daredevil, because I was looking at his new suit. I was like, is he yellow suit? Are you serious? But when we saw him in the TV show Echo, I'm not going to get into that, but Echo sucked. It was terrible. Time to start talking. I'm not the one who's going to be talking. So basically, you guys already know Frank Castle is a Marine. So basically, he fights like a Marine. And uh, kind of a boxer. Because John Burknell that plays the role of Frank Castle, the Punisher, is actually a boxer. Uh, like basically yeah that's what he said on the jimmy kimmel show he did break his hand before in the tv show as well which was crazy <laughs>
Okay, okay so they improvise uh, with the crowbar. Um, he hit the knee. The knee was actually supposed to pop out and there's supposed to be blood that came out, but I guess they redid the fight choreography a little bit. It was um, behind the scenes though. <laughs> I'm telling you, always go for the face, it helps. But with Frank, Marines could take punishment, they could take pain, they're used to it, they could fight all day. That's the difference between, I guess you could say, vigilantes and the Punisher. Punisher is an anti vigilante, I believe, yeah. <laughs> Popped his uh, left eye socket badly, and it, it's the side of his left face just breaking the skull slowly, a little bit at a time. <laughs> he's not using his fists, he's using one of those weights, too, those small ones as well. Like, he's using it as a brass knuckle, like bloody hell. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, subscribe to the channel. So I'll see you, yes, of course. I'll see you all in the next one.